Hi, and welcome to Fabric Bias. It is July 6, 2024 in the afternoon, and I'm just trying to get organized right now with uh, projects that I want to get done. And so I decided it's time to write things down. Two reasons. It'll help keep me organized, and mostly it'll be fun to check them off as I get them done. <laughs> so here's the list I made when I got home today. We went garage selling this morning, and that helped actually put an item on my list here. Ironing fabric is always going to be on a list. These accordion pouches, I will link above or below. I made a video on, oh, here it is right here. I took this paper accordion pouch that my sister sent me and I created it in fabric. I'll link that video above or below. And, but I'm going to make some more because um, one, I like them a lot. I think they're really cute. And um, two, I will use them when I make them. I do have a plan for them. And three, it's a great scrap buster project and I... Although I'm not getting rid of a lot of scraps, um, I do need to do some scrap busting. So um, I should put scrap busting on here and then I could check that off. <laughs> so I've got these already cut out. I need to cut out the interface and get that pressed on and then I can start sewing them. I'm pretty, pretty far along on these as it is. Nah, um, I've started it. I'll go with that. And so I'm going to make some more accordion pouches. And then I'm also going to do fabric file folders. So we went garage selling this morning. And I found about a three inch high stack of hanging file folders, which I'm hoping to turn into fabric file folders. But this time, oh, I already did this project, by the way. So I will put a link above or below to that video um, on those. And this time, though, I'm going to add some pockets to them. So I'm going to skinny them up and add some pockets, I think. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Still haven't started that project. Just on in my brain. It is July, so I do need to do some of my 12 months of Christmas bags. So I'm sewing bags uh, a little each month so at Christmas time I don't have to sew them all and I've already got some fabric picked out here not all for this month I don't think I'm going to try to get those all done in one month cat beds um, so we were donated a lot of fabric and included flannel and I want to take some of that flannel and turn them into cat beds to donate to the animal control and we've donated bags uh, beds to the animal control in the past uh, and so I went out to their website and I looked at what their preferred size is because luckily they post it for me and so I don't have to call. And um, so I have that information and um, I also know that they don't want them very thick. And so I'm going to make some cat beds because I just don't drive by there in the wintertime. I only go by uh, where the animal control is in the summertime. And so I want to be able to make these so I'm not going too far out of my way to go and drop them off on that. So... That is there. Now they don't accept dog beds because they actually buy um, raised dog beds for the dogs and uh, for other animals and stuff like that. And probably for the cats too, they have an, anim an Amazon wish list. So they're not just um, making cats a priority thing on that, just to reassure you. <laughs> they take care of all the animals. Um, I have cut batting straps, which I've actually already started here. So I'm going to get that done super, super quick so I can get a check mark really quickly. And I have to input the travel crossbody bag notes. So I will link that video above or below. But um, it was my third iteration of a bag that I started apparently back in March. Um, and I finally, finally finished my third version of it. And so decided to, of course, while I was doing it, I take notes. And now I need to put those notes into the computer. So if I decide to make it again, um, make a fourth version or a fourth uh, bag, then I will have the notes so I know what I did on that. I have a to replace a zipper laundry bag. So that zipper, it's just gone. I can't fix it, so I'm going to have to replace it. So that'll be a nice quick project and another check mark. And then below that, I'm going to make some more flannel pants. I haven't decided out of which fabric yet. And then below that, which you probably can't see peeking out of there, is a bag. And I'm going to use that as a springboard um, to design another bag here. And that project is going to take me a while. That might be, I might be saving that one until winter time on that. And then my last thing is I've got a shirt that my daughter wants me to convert to a jacket by putting a zipper down the center. And I'm going to hope that she changes her mind on that one. I have the zipper, but uh, there's an issue with the collar and I might make it a little tough. So <laughs> we'll see if I get it done. All right, so there's kind of where I'm at. Some projects I will link below. I will show you as I get these done as well. And um, I don't know if what I just said made any sense. So I think it's time to wrap this up. I hope this was helpful. I hope that wherever and whenever you're at, you're having a great time. And thanks for watching.